Hey all, so I decided to um, go with Windows 98 in this computer. I took the 500 gig XP hard drive out of this machine, put it in that Acer. So now that's got another hard drive in it with all the backup of what was on this board on that, with all the um, what this computer was before. And they're gonna reformat this Mac store hard drive with the um, because it had that motherboard software on it, and that wasn't starting on this board, obviously, because it's compatibility issues. So I'm using this copy I was given a long time ago. I'm going to use that, boot it off that, and start it again on this motherboard, and install the chipsets for this motherboard on that operating system. And reset that hard drive back to master. Because the, um, yeah, the motherboard wasn't detecting it, obviously, to do this, what I originally done, I had to pull this out. The, um, jump out of the hard drive to force the motherboard to boot from the from the CD, and now it works. I had the problem of uh, I couldn't get it to work. It said this drive not supported. The floppy drive couldn't format the hard drive. It already existed. It wouldn't start the setup no matter what. So I had to force the motherboard to boot off that. I had to pull the uh, master jumper out of that old Mac store drive. Should be alright once it's all set up. I've I don't think 98 supports SATA. I don't think it does, because um, what I wanted, originally wanted to do, I have got no more spare IDE cables with a third, uh, with a third connector on it for the um, CD drive. I've only got one that has two, and they're both taken and both hard drives. And I leave that 160 gigabyte, 160 gigabyte one there for expansion of uh, music and heaps of DOS games and stuff. So I want to have a good vintage computer, I put 98 in it. Cause I do like this operating system, especially for its gaming. I always love the um, DOS games on this thing. So I'll get this all set up. With the uh, bloody 3 gigabytes of RAM and 3 gigahertz processor and bloody a Pentium 4. I think Windows 98 would be as fast as a bloody Windows 8 and an SSD probably. Anyway. It should be pretty quick. I'm gonna have to find some. Hopefully, the um, <laughs> I have no idea if the 8800 GT video card drive was gonna be supported on this operating system. I have got a 60 G G4 6600 I can put in there, but if it's worth doing, it's worth ever doing, right? <laughs> you never know. It may may not support some drivers, but we'll see what happens. I got this far now. Got a wireless thing to put on there too, yeah. So I get wireless internet and I'm going to find some, uh, I've got VET anyway, so I don't know if that's going to be any use to that. There's a lot of things that aren't supported on this, so I think I'm going to solely reserve this just for, for DOS gaming. Anyway. I've got Redneck Rampage, you know, the old Jit Nukem, Rise of the Triad, all those old games I could put on here. My best favourite of all time is Redneck Rampage. I absolutely love that game. Uh, I cannot find it a way to get it to work, DOS box or anything. I just cannot get it to work. So I'm going to do it this way. Put the genuine operating system on it. The easiest way to get around that. Because now it's a real vintage-ish, vintage computer now. Yeah. I'm going to have to, um, again, I haven't got any other spare IDE cables, unfortunately. All the IDE cables I've got, I've got one option with two, uh, connections on it. No, none with three. There is a, I think there's a spare one on the flop of this drive one, but I don't know if that's going to work with CD ROM drives. It's only the dropper on the board only supports some um, flop of this drive, so I'm pretty much limited here. Anyway. Start doing that now. Beautiful. Ah, uh, what? Oh, they're very formal. I'm still doing that. Hmm. The drive's been re-wiped and reformatted though, it shouldn't do that. What the hell's going on here? Okay. Well that's strange. Maybe it's the wrong motherboard for this uh, operating system, I thought hard to believe. And must need this um, Willow Pond. Specifically need this Willow Pond um, sound device. How the hell do I fix that now? Well, that's the only thing to stop a Windows from starting is this. Um yeah. Need some assistance on this one. Pisses me off. It's a different motherboard, so what's going on here? And I've actually rewiped that hard drive, rewiped it, put a fresh install of Windows 98 in it, and it's still doing it. 
maybe it doesn't like anything else but this um, sound driver or sound uh, device. That's not good. Anyway, I hope that would be appreciated. Thanks for watching.